We're in Copenhagen. Yay. We just flew in from Paris. We're here for two days. Actually, three days, two nights. It's Friday morning. It's bright and early. I mean, it's not bright, but it is early. It's, eh, it's 10. 10. <laughs> We've been up since four. <laughs> No, but we both like slept through the flight, which was good. I get a little latte. We're at a cafe. It's really humid and my hair is already acting up. We just checked into our hotel. We're staying at Villa Copenhagen. Shout out them for hooking us up with this room. Here's our little room tour. You walk in, we got a full body mirror. This is our little bathroom. Okay, she's nice. Got a little coffee set up. And then we got into bed. Look at this little. Hey, Copenhagen. What up? <laughs> I low-key love our room. Like, I love this little window thing. It's so cute. <laughs> and there's like a pool. I wonder, is that the hotel's pool? I love that there's an amusement park in the middle of the city. <laughs> like, it's just like right there. Copenhagen, day one outfit check. She's so cute. What am I wearing? What am I wearing? Can you try to guess where everything is from? Okay, Adidas, obviously. Cost socks. Yes. Bag that I don't know where it's from. Home pie. These. I think these are Zara. This is Le Carole. Le Carole. And this is. It's just like a white shirt. Okay. I don't even know where it's from. <laughs> That's the fit. Danielle and I are like kind of twinning right now. I have pink socks. We're gonna go shopping. I have like probably 25 different thrift stores just saved in my guides. I'll like share it on my Instagram if you're like in Copenhagen and you want to go thrifting. So we wanted to wear like our comfy outfits today so we can like really get at it. And then we're gonna get lunch probably. I have a friend here. Probably gonna meet up with him. Dinner, bar, you know the drill. Party as usual. <laughs> I'm obsessed with this yeah, gold one. one. Oh, so cute! Like, stop. And it fit you perfectly. Okay, but it's like expensive. <laughs> Let me recalculate. <laughs> the price went down. 1,195. DKK. DKK, which is 160. Which is a lot. It's like a plane ticket, bro. That literally is. It's a one-way plane ticket. Let me try the top on. The top is too big. So now we have to make a decision. <laughs> I like it. It's not hitting like this blue one did. Yeah, like I'm not obsessed with it. And I feel like I should be obsessed with it. <laughs> I need a light roller so bad. Skirting number one. <laughs> cool. uh -uh. She's candy. It is big. I just slipped it off. <laughs> it's a little big. Oh, it's cute. I'm just confused. Like, where is like Yeah. Like, Let's go back a little. It's giving a little like the mermaid tail prom dress. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. But in like a much cuter, sophisticated way. They're shorts. Yeah, they have shorts in the bottom. I thought it was like a skirt. I just so tried on this skirty. It's so good. It's so cute. Let's check the price. Three fifty, which is forty nine. Oh, that's not bad. Okay, we are taking a big break from thrifting to go eat. I saw this place through your recommendations it's called Fabra. It's a little Italian restaurant and they have like a very small menu, but we looked at it and it looks pleasant. So we're gonna go there. I got three really cute skirts. You saw them, the red one, the black one, and then the like cheetah brown one. I'm just very content. Like I be fucking with the city a lot and it's literally been what, like three hours? I feel like I've seen this after everything. I'm like, should I move here? <laughs> No, I don't I don't actually feel that way about Copenhagen. Like I love it, don't get me wrong, but not like my place. Danielle and I were just having a conversation about how uh, the French are gatekeepers in every way possible. They're not just gatekeepers about like their culture and their language, but it's just like the vibes. They gatekeep the vibes because they just like don't want the outsiders. We were reading this article about how 
Copenhagen is like super inclusive of like the vibes like they like to share the vibes and even like the small interactions that you have with people like in stores and like in restaurants is like so chill and it's like so inviting compared to the French which is like nice I feel a lot more like welcome I feel like Copenhagen is more hospitable than France it's just like my observation because I'm a fucking ethnographer if you didn't already fucking know It's funny because it looks like Freud and then it just like sexed us next to it. Hola! I've been doing work. You guys, I'm a working girl even when I'm drawing. Sending little notes so that my other vlog can go up from last week on Monday. How do we feel about having Mondays being my posting days? That's when like I looked at my analytics and you guys are the most on YouTube. So I said Mondays, but like it doesn't have to be. It's 7.30. We had such a busy day, like such a long day. We went shopping. I got four skirts. We went to the Ghani archive store. I don't know why they call it the archive store, bro. It's just an outlet. It's called the postmodern store. Ghani postmodern store. <laughs> it's literally like them selling their previous collections for like a cheaper price. Anyway, got this really cute polka dot skirt that I, I tried on for fucking $56, which is crazy because Ghani is like a little more pricey than that. Like how much would that skirt have been? Probably like up to 200. Oh, I thought it would have been like way more than that. It could have been, like I'd say like from like 200 to like 350. That's not that bad. I mean, it's out of my budget definitely, but like in comparison to other brands. Anyway, got a cute skirt. I'm so happy about it. We've just been walking around and like shopping basically. We had a day of thrifting essentially. And we got really good lunch. That place was so good. Like I really fucked with that place. Oh, the Fabro. Go there if you're in Copenhagen. Fabro. So good. I love going to grocery stores or like bodegas of countries that I visit and like figuring out like what snacks that they eat and like if they're more like sweet leaning or savory like I don't know I like to figure that out because I'm a major snack girl. We're gonna get dinner at Delphine at 9 which is like this really cool Greek restaurant that you guys recommended and then we're meeting up with one of my friends who's studying abroad here and just hanging out with him and meeting his friends. We'll see. We will see. We will see. Okay. Bye. <laughs> We're going to dinner. I'm wearing a Canadian tuxedo. This is from Roberta Cavalli. These are Urban Outfitters. Boots are redone. Bag is Mugler. <laughs> We're not late. We're literally on time. We have 20, it's a 20 minute walk and we left 20 minutes before. So it's like, we're gonna be there. Plus, there's always a grace period. We're chilling. Also, we made the reservation day of. It's not like it's a booming restaurant. Like, you know, we're fucking fine. Guys, there's a DJ booth right there. And he be bumping the tunes. I need those. I need them. Injected in my face. We just got like an absurd amount of candy. <laughs> Look at this. This is what I mean. Like looking at their snacks, it's literally a candy buffet. Candy buffet. There's aisles of this shit. Do you like what you got? I want to have one. That's so good. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Can we open yeah, this? Yeah, go ahead. I okay. just over it too. Thank you. Our stomach is like Greek gummies. food, <laughs> Greek food, gummies, wine, wine, gummies, wine. crepe, mojito. mojito. <laughs> All we eat in the dorms is like frozen oh, tortellini. <laughs> this is good. Thank you. What the hell? This is better than the fucking crepe I had at St. Malo. <laughs> I love crepes. They're my signature. You put cinnamon? A little bit. A lot of it. Usually I go it's a little less. It's honestly overpowering. Is it? Okay, that's good to know. That's the first cinnamon response I've gotten. But Maybe I put too much Nutella. Thank you for the crepe. We that actually, actually devoured actually really it. good. Yeah, that was really good. Thank you. Like, really impressive. <laughs> Dude, I'm bummed it was so cinnamony. It wasn't like too cinnamony. It was just like I tasted cinnamon. Are you not supposed to? <laughs> I had so many dreams last night. We were walking on like this boardwalk. We had to do something. I don't know what though. But there were baby dolphins that were also waddling on this boardwalk. 
but I was scared of them because they were like eating your feet and I like jumped but I was like levitating but the dolphin also jumped but he couldn't jump as high as I did <laughs> it was weird <sighs> okay good morning we're getting ready day two we slept in <gasps> This was open in my makeup bag. We slept in. We literally woke up at like 12.30 day before, like yesterday. We woke up at 4 a.m. And we also walked like 31,000 steps, which I think is a little insane. If it was like 20K, you know, like you're like, okay, yeah, like y'all walked. You're traveling. It makes sense. 31,000. Our toesies were in so much pain. I was running on three hours of sleep. Daniela was running on no sleep. We were really down bad, but we still kept it going because, you know, we're like just those type of people that like, if we're spending money on traveling, we're traveling. We're not wasting no time. Except today we like slept in because we like desperately needed sleep. Anyway, woke up. Now we're getting ready. I think we did so much yesterday. Today is kind of like whatever we want to see and do. Like we literally hit everything that we wanted to yesterday in one day. So honestly, I feel like if you're going to come to Copenhagen, especially if you're like not visiting anyone specifically that you like are going to hang out with like consistently, then like three days, I feel like it's a perfect amount of time. Don't you agree? Yeah. It's also small. We were able to walk the whole town in a day. I mean, it did take us 31 steps. We're going north today. We like hit the South Bank type situation. I think the next time I come to Copenhagen, I want it to be like in the summer when it's like warm out so that we can go swimming in the canals because I think that would be so cute. So much fun. Oh, now you want to join me? Yeah. Mm. 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 <laughs> the airport person threw away my Gizu polishing prime and I desperately need it. Like it was like the one thing I brought to like make my hair look good and she made me throw it away. And it like, it so easily could have fit. And I don't even know if they sell that here. But even if they did, it's not like I could bring it back. What should I do with my hair today? My hair is not giving. My favorite lazy girl hack that doesn't always work. It's putting your clothes in like a hot steamy shower so you don't have to iron. Is what I do in college. It doesn't always work, but you know, we try. I don't like it with the long sleeve under, so I just can't take my jacket off. I do like it. Really? Yeah. I'm not taking jacket off, not for the photos. Outfit part two. I actually really like it today. It's so cute and colorful. <laughs> this jacket is from Sandro. This is like my go-to fall jacket, I guess. I thrifted this blue Lacoste vest in Paris. Jeans are Subi, as always. And then my redone boots. Bags, Poppy Lisman. Glasses are Bela. Yeah. Juno, you know, which is like this bakery that everyone kind of raves about and our friend Maya told us to get like this cardamom pastry <laughs> Our assortment. This is vanilla. This is peach tart milk bun and then that's the cardamom one This is like their OG. We started with the milk bun. It's just like a really good. What do you call it a dinner roll? Like super fluffy and like bouncy buttery buttery mm, very buttery, but very good okay. cardamom I like it, but the cardamom itself isn't like my ideal flavor. Like I don't think I would order that. Really? You know what it tastes like? Well, yeah. What does it taste like? Because it tastes like cereal. Something. It tastes like a mix of cinnamon toast crunch and like fruity pebbles. It's the fruity pebbles taste that I don't like. You don't? I like it. Have at it, girl. That's all yours. I <laughs> really like it. <laughs> I need to get to the vanilla. Yeah, I was gonna say it's probably the same dough of like this cardamom. It's so good, but it's so sweet. Okay, I'm gonna start this one because it's raining. <laughs> Tart one. That's fucking fire. I'm like putting my camera away. So we're in the north. Actually, this is more northeast. It looks like Brooklyn over here. We were just talking about how everything like is so pre-planned in this country it's like they knew like what people's needs were and they like prepared everything for that reason the subways like there was like a whole ass carriage just dedicated to baby strollers and like bikes what the fuck like that's so smart <laughs> what the hell and then we started just talking about how like it's crazy 
on like different parts of the world these people that have reached such a different level of like humanity that like the rest of the world or at least the rest of the places that like i've lived in haven't like come close to like experiencing like it's the like fact that shock. yeah like it's a huge culture shock if people just leave their bikes on the street I'm not scared to walk with my phone in my back pocket or like we walked home last night at like 2 a.m. alone and like we were fine like no one even harassed us in any way like people leave their babies on the fucking street you can't do this shit in other places so it's just really cool and I have mad respect can y'all like run the world <laughs> thanks so we left the bakery we took a bus to studio kitchen because like I wanted like food food and union kitchen union kitchen I got the back which is like a bacon egg and cheese burger basically and you got scrambled eggs with bacon I'm gonna have some of that oh actually I have bacon oh, I don't need your bacon <laughs> We're back at the hotel. It's been a minute actually. We've just been like on our phones, you know, rewinding, I guess. It's crazy that like going on your phone for like an hour is now considered rewinding. But yeah, we're gonna go get ready because I'm starting to get hungry and we need to eat dinner. So last night in Copenhagen, tomorrow, our flight's at four, no, 3.40. So we don't have like a lot of time, but we wanna hit the flea market, Vera's market, because all y'all told me to go. We're gonna try to do that, which means we have to wake up like early so we have time to eat, go there come back and like make it to the airport in time hoping that works out it's also cold as balls what the hell i need to like buy layers when i go back to paris because this shit ain't okay let's get ready for dinner we're ready for dinner i'm wearing the new top that i got i feel like by the end of the trip like everyone just like stops caring about like what they look like i just feel like it's been so chilly and like i'm not like prepared for it which i talked about that I just want to be warm and cozy and comfortable. Put my hair up in like this little bun. And I'm just counting on these silver hoops to pull it all together. <laughs> you can like see my inner layer peeking. Like these jeans from earlier today. We're going to this restaurant called Pluto. Or we're hoping to go to this restaurant called Pluto. But there's like a bunch of other restaurants around it. We couldn't like get a reservation for it. So we're gonna like train there and then try to put our name down and like wait a little bit. But, like I'm also so hungry that like Pluto I just heard really good reviews about it's like seafood bazaar is like Middle Eastern like I'm always gonna prefer Middle Eastern food also because we had seafood last night but Haley like really told me to go to Pluto she was like go to Pluto we're going to Pluto <laughs> <laughs> so we decided to ditch Pluto. Sorry, Haley. <laughs> we passed by Bazaar, the Middle Eastern restaurant, and it was so popping inside that we were like, you know what? We're craving Middle Eastern food. Let's just go here. And I'm so glad we came because everything looks so good and our food just got here. I got a kebab with kebab sauce. We have some ceviche and touche. She got a grilled chicken, some sancerre. Restaurant vibes. Okay, y'all. We are packing. Apparently, the fireworks from last night was to commemorate, celebrate the end of summer because today's the first day of fall. Why does this topic keep coming up in conversation? Yeah, yeah, yeah between us i was scrolling on instagram and like people are still posting like last days of summer and i'm like bro summer ended so long ago <laughs> at least for me so like i was kind of making fun of people doing that and then daniela's like well actually tomorrow is the first day of fall who the fuck is setting up these like calendar updates <laughs> but yeah i guess i was wrong it is the first day of fall today we just checked out of our hotel we're going to atelier september for some omelette and pancakes because we were told they're really good and then we're gonna leave around 1 1 30 for the airport Copenhagen Ooh, that's so good. I'm not a huge warm matcha person. Like I really only drink iced matcha, but like I added a little honey. You know how I feel about like lines and waiting for food. Like that's just not something I do. But we waited 
and it was worth it. Like, really worth it. I haven't even tried the pancakes, but like, fire pancakes. They're delicious. This is definitely a spot you should eat at. And the matcha was so good. 10 out of 10. We're at the airport. My flight got delayed. They only by like 30 minutes, which is fine, but I got hungry. And there was a Union Kitchen at the airport, and there was this chicken on the menu that I really wanted to try, but I ended up getting like a burger instead. So now I get to try the chicken. The spicy Korean chicken with the salad. Lemonade. Daniela's at Joe and the Juice. Cheers. It's really good. Wow. Yummers.